what's going on because the Congress clearly has enough trouble where they're sitting inside that meeting where the opposition is concerned, ganging up some of them. But outside, look at the kind of atmospherics with the likes of Adiranjan Chaudhary is creating and he's no small time leader. See, uh, you know, Adi Ranjan Chaudhary is a repeat offender as far as the TMC is concerned and that's how the TMC looks at it. Much of the IC uh, relationship between TMC and uh, the Congress party, uh, Preeti, is attributed to Adi Ranjan Chaudhary because Bamta can't stand him, we are told, and uh, she had asked Rahul Gandhi to sack him and uh, uh, perhaps make another chief so that you could work in coordination. But that didn't happen and uh, still uh, congratulatory message Messages were exchanged uh, on Twitter. Rahul Gandhi had congratulated Mamta Banerjee over a feat in West Bengal. So, but Mamta has been very critical of the Congress's repeated uh, troublesome attitude in the state. And on the on the other hand, the Congress says we we cannot surrender uh, to the TMC's whims and fancies. We have our own identity. The, now the. This is a very tight trope walk. Either sides will have to see the pros and cons, the gains and the losses, and walk this tight trope. And, and that's one reason, you know, that uh, the need, there is a need for people like the, uh, Sharad Pawar, Udhav Takre, M.K. Stalin to intervene. Because, remember, TMC in the parliament in the past few years has taken its Mostly own line. Mostly the news break coming in, and it seems there seems to be a climb down as well. Where Rahul Gandhi is concerned, we're going to play that news just in just a while. What we're given to understand is that in the meeting, what Rahul Gandhi said was that they are willing to be flexible in seat distribution. We are ready to be flexible to save the country is uh, what seemingly Rahul Gandhi suggested. We're going to cut across to Sahil Joshi in just a short while uh, when we play that latest news break coming in. Uh, but, uh, you know, Rahul, I want to, uh, Srivastava, I want to bring you in where... Uh, Rahul Gandhi, what we are given to understand and seemingly there is a realization Rahul where the Congress is concerned that they cannot go into this meeting as an all consuming big brother, they have to go as equal partners and take it from there. Yes, uh, the basic idea for the opposition coming together is that there is no big brother. Uh, it is a coalition of the equals, uh, be it a small party or the big party. And once they are actually able to achieve that, I think everything else will be uh, very easy. But if you look at uh, the map of India, the BJP contested uh, in 2009 433 seats, in 2014 428, and in uh, out of the 543, and uh, 2019 it was 437. The Congress contested 440 out of the 543 uh, in 2009, 464 in 2014 which was the highest since 1996, and 2019 it contested 423 seats. Now, in uh, a large number of states, the Congress did not win a single seat. Now, if we are saying that, say, out of the 30-odd uh, states and union territories, uh, the Congress does not uh, uh, have a chance of winning seats in 15 states, will the Congress be ready to stand aside and let others play? Now, in that scenario, say, for example, in UP, they have one seat. And actually, will they be standing back for, say, the Congress stand down for uh, Samajwadi Party? Can there be an alliance without the effective alliance because without the BSP? Now, these are the questions which are, I think, the tougher questions to ask. Uh, because, one, this is an electoral arrangement. The second is a visible arrangement. You have to, like today, they were talking about some 20-odd parties. You had some 15 and 16. That visible element has to be there. So in which uh, uh, we may call Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary uh, a black sheep as far as the Congress is concerned because he continues to take part. But it could well be strategy that on a day when your identity seems to be merging, you are Kriya speak. You have one leader speaking in a different voice. Uh, coming together is a very difficult issue. Say, for example, Sharad Pawar is today the unifier. He is telling uh, Ahmadmi Party to do something uh, Congress party to help the Ahmadi party but just a little while back we had Mr. Sharad Pawar breaking ranks on the Adani issue.